guys, we are back for another Dokkan battle video. So we have a... I was, actually, I was, I, I was just about to say a dual Dokkan Fest. No, we have a Dokkan Fest LR banner, Goku and Vegeta. And then we, of course, have a new Carnival exclusive LR metal cooler. Um, I think both units are very good. Top 10 the overall unit in the game contenders. Um, surprisingly, the, the big surprise, Goku and Vegeta's banner is as good as we would expect. Right? Those banners are always crazy. This banner, though, is, a, I think, a little bit better than expected. If you're a global player, keep in mind that you, of course, are going to have, um, whatchamacallit featured, um, the LR Goku and Gohan over, uh, Great Ape Vegeta, which is definitely a huge global W. Um, so that's pretty good. This is definitely a banner you do want to summon on, though, right here. This Goku and Vegeta one. These are the most free-to-play players throughout the, uh, the, the months of the year. You really should be avoiding going crazy on banners like Raditz and Ginyu and, you know, like, uh, Dokkan Fest Pan and the Resurrection F Blue, Goku and Vegeta. Like, those types of, of banners you do want to skip throughout the year. And then you can collect a lot of these types of units during these big celebration banners, right? You know, we got the LR Goku and Vegeta. We have the Gohan and Krillin, who are a bit mid, not a fan of them. Full Power Frieza, very good. UI Goku, very good, right? SCR Vegito is still usable in a bunch of content, right? Um, EGL Cell's actually one of the best characters in the game. Borderline top 10 contender, very strong character. SCR Kid Buu is very good, but he doesn't have a place currently. He could easily get um, a top tier team. The way LR Janemba exploded and is now a god, right? Um, Kid Buu could get the same thing with maybe like a 200% lead Buhan or something like that. And Kid Buu could become a god, right? Easily could happen. Tech Buu, you, you know, maybe some like super battle road stages or something like that. You can get some use out of this character. Not really too good. Same thing with Int Go Tanks. There's some stages you can get some use out of them, but um, certainly not really, I would say, too impressive or anything. Um, and then AGL Metal Cooler, I actually like quite a bit. I think this AGL Metal Cooler unit is much better than people give him credit for, especially on these new Wicked Bloodline and Movie Bosses teams, right? So this is a great banner to pour stones into because you have many characters who could help you across a variety of content, including many characters who can dominate Red Zone stages. Goku and Vegeta, Full Power Frieza, UI Goku, um, EGL Cell, SDR Kid Buu can dominate Red Zone stages. I mean, SDR Vegito can as well, but just don't get hit, right? <laughs> so, All right, let's go and jump into the new Dokkan event. Um, so we have one new Dokkan event right here. This is uh, LR Goku and Vegeta, Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta, um, of course, from the Metal Cooler movie here. I think you do need about 100 of these medals because you need a bunch for the LR Goku and Vegeta, LR Metal Cooler, and then, of course, the Gohan and Krillin. Let's go and take a look here. So I assume um, that uh, oh, Metal Coolers will be who we want to use here. Let's see. Yeah, just any, any of the sort of Metal Cooler characters. Okay. Not surprising there. Um, let's see. So we have, uh, four phases. Oh, they are playing the hero song in here, huh? So I probably, oh, well, I guess, <laughs> oh, well, uh, Goku and Vegeta, probably then just three Goku and Vegeta's right there. Uh, then of course for the medals, we awaken the Dokkan Fest LR Goku and Vegeta, Gohan and Krillin. They don't show him metal cooler here. Why? That's so weird. Metal cooler needs their medals, but then they don't show him there. I, I, ah, that's a bummer. That's a bummer right there. I wish that the event uh, details would be correct and they'd actually show all the characters that need the medals. Hello, these goofballs. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. Um, what I like to do oftentimes with these Dokkan events is we'll bring like a uh, transformation team. Is it playing the... No, it's not playing... Oh, oh, I think the um, the hero theme song from the end of the Metal Cooler movie, um, that uh, probably will play during the final phase, right? Which I assume is going to be inside... Or, no, no, no. Well, it might be the, the Goku and Vegito, like, without their clothes on, right? After, like, towards the end of the fight. Um, okay, that art, that Goku right there, that's from LR Goku and Gohan. That's what that, uh, that asset is, that, uh, Super Saiyan Goku. Oh, it's the two Android Saga Goku and Vegitas. Yeah, because this is, the thing about, um, like, this section right here, uh, like, the Metal Cooler movie is, like, vaguely taking place during the, the Android slash Cell Saga, right? I believe the movie actually released around the manga chapter where Cell was first introduced. Um, I, I believe it's kind of like the timing of the movie, right? But that's the manga chapter. I remember Cell would be introduced in the manga, but then in the anime, he's, you know, introduced probably many months later. Um, but that's, like, around the timing. That's why many people were curious why Goku and Vegeta were not on the bond of parent and child category. 
it's because Vegeta characters are not on the bond of parent and child before the end of the Cell fight, right? When Cell kills Trunks, that is the exact moment that they put both Vegeta and Trunks units on bond of parent and child. So the Trunks that kills Mecha is not on bond of parent and child, right? But then think that the Vegeta that's doing the insane barrage of key blasts against Perfect Cell, he is on bond of parent and child, right? It makes sense. Honestly, I would say it does make sense, right? It, it does. I, I don't feel like it's like a huge chef, like, oh my God, why is this character not on there? I, I feel like it does sort of make sense. Okay, we have a very uh, crappy rotation right here. I, okay, I'd be a little embarrassed if we, you know, spend two turns getting rid of this Goku and Vegeta right here. But uh, typically what I'll do for these Dokkan events, right, is I'll kind of, again, just sort of vaguely uh, throw together a, a bunch of transformation characters. Uh, I've been doing this for years right now. Um, I, I always do like to record all of the events, right? Um, you know, I, even Dokkan events, story events, I, I've told this before many times, but... Um, back when I was first getting into Dokkan, like, I loved watching, you know, like, Rhyme and Nano and Be Free and Gaming Claw and these guys. And a lot of times, um, they wouldn't always record, like, every single event, even, like, story events and stuff like that with, like, the new events and new characters. And I was just a goal player at the time, and I wanted to see, like, okay, like, what does this new stuff look like? So that's the reason why I, you know, as I've grown as a YouTuber, I still, like, record every single, even, like, the story events and stuff like that. Um, it's because, you know, this one is out on Global at the same time, right? But oftentimes there are many events uh, that are not released on Global at the same time as they are in JP, right? You, you guys get what I'm saying. Okay, so we should be able to demolish Goku and Vegeta here. Oh, they're, they're attack, actually. Okay. Um, let's give let's give Merge Zamasu a little bit of shine. What's interesting about this Merge Zamasu, this Fusion Zamasu right here, right? Um, is that this guy actually... Uh, is a manga attack. They they have not dipped into manga stuff very often, um, but this Fusion Zamasu right here, he does do a manga attack, right? This right here, these little portals, Zamasu doesn't do that in the anime. He only does that in the actual manga, right? Um, it, it, it's not common that they've done a lot of manga stuff, right? Like, in the, the manga Future Trunks arc, um, uh, Goku, uh, Blue Goku does the Hakai, right? That, that blue Goku doing the Hakai is actually... Wow, I'm surprised the monster's taking damage there. Okay. But uh, that blue Goku doing the Hakai is actually in um, Dragon Ball Heroes. So I would not be surprised if um, we would see that show up someday um, in Dokkan as well. Right? Basically, like, if something is in Dragon Ball Heroes, then I think it could be in everything else, essentially. That's the way I feel about it, right? Oh, okay. Oh, we're getting a, a million transformations in right here. Let's go ahead and do uh, the Kakarot active skill. Yeah, because, uh, right, like, Moro, Granola, Ultra Ego, Vegeta, all these characters are not in um, Heroes. So that's how you know, like, they're they're just not being put in any games at all. If it's not in Heroes, it's not coming to Dokkan or Legends or anything like that. Here, let's go ahead and use Broly's active skill here. <laughs> Is this the last phase? Wait, did I... Do they not have, like, them without their clothes on? I didn't realize. Um, Let's put Skinny... Let's have Skinny Boo get an attack in first. We'll have Skinny Boo attack, and then we'll have second form Frieza. Uh, Skinny Boo is, is... You know, he's got dodges and stuff like that type advantage. We don't have to worry. Imagine I die in a Dokkan event. Like, just doing one of these videos with kind of, like, these subpar units. I'm just like... Hoo -hoo 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 -hoo, and then just get, like, absolutely crushed right here. Um, okay. Nice 1.72 million attack stat. Very good. I mean, we don't have a lot of his links active and stuff like that, right? All right. Broly will devastate them. Amazing how well these Broly anime... Oh, we still... We get to see this right here. Okay. This is the LR Goku and Vegeta's 18 key. <laughs> and get dodged. Yeah. Broly's animations still hold up quite well. I, I'm on record as saying that I think next year's worldwide download celebration, we're going to do Super Saiyan Goku and Broly. So, the, the way I think it is, right? So... Uh, two years ago, we did Super Saiyan Goku, Full Power Frieza. This year, Super Saiyan Goku, Final Form Cooler. And I think next year, Super Saiyan Goku and Broly. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking we're going to get right there. I Maybe some people wouldn't like that, but I think I would adore that. I absolutely would love um, if we get three years in a row of Super Saiyan Goku. I think that Goku from the Broly movie would make a great unit, too. 
All right, so there we go. There is the Goku and Vegeta Dokkan event. Let me go ahead and grind this up a million billion times, get these units awakened. We'll do the 55% videos today. We'll do the rainbow videos today. We got all that stuff coming. Thanks, guys, for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the banners. Summon, summon, summon away. These banners are good. Thanks, guys, and I'll catch y'all next time.